Hi, and welcome to the Toy Fair 2019 Ask the Media video. In this video, I'll be providing you with tips and tricks on how you can make a splash at this year's show. We'll be hearing from broadcast and print journalists, as well as a top parenting blogger. They'll provide you with an insight on when, how, and what to pitch at Toy Fair. But before the interviews, let me take you through the other PR opportunities available to you as a Toy Fair exhibitor. Our PR agency Bastion has created the PR materials that outline everything that you can do and all the information that we need from you. You can find these on the Toy Fair website. Whilst I'll go through some of the opportunities for you now, please make sure you take the time to read through the PR manual in full. There are nine forms in total for you to fill in and return to Bastion by the deadlines on screen now. These forms provide us with the information we need for the new product guide, event timetable and other materials we provide to the media. It's also your opportunity to take part in the Toy Fair's Hero Toys. This is an exclusive showcase of the most exciting new toys at the show. You can find more information on this in the PR manual. I can't stress enough how important these forms are for us. The more information you provide, the better stories we can create which means more media at the show and more coverage for you. If you're a returning exhibitor, then you'll know just how important Toy Fair TV is to the show. Hosted by Anna Williamson and Gavin Inskip, our in-house TV channel is a great way for you to showcase your products across the screens at Olympia and on the Toy Fair website. If you'd like to take part, then fill in forms five and six. Slots for Toy Fair TV and the Demo Zone are always in high demand. And remember, you only get two to three minutes, so make sure you get your main points across. The Toy Fair comic is an exclusive teaser sent to around a thousand journalists at the beginning of January. It features many of the brand new launches at the show, presented in a fun comic style. If you'd like to take part, then fill in and return PR Form 2. Last but not least are goodie bags. We put together two goodie bags for our top tier media, including broadcasters, newspapers and parenting outlets. The first goodie bag is sent just before Christmas, so if you would like to get involved, then get in touch with Bastion. The second goodie bag is distributed on site, so keep your eyes peeled for more information soon. Now we have our interviews. First, we'll speak to Kate Carter, freelance journalist and ex-Guardian editor. We asked Kate what story she'll be looking for at the show and how and when to pitch to her. Take it away, Kate. When I go to Toy Fair, I'm not generally looking for a specific story. I'm very open to what I see, but I would say I'm probably overall looking at trends. So often you'll find four or five products that seem to almost kind of have a common theme to them, whether it's STEM learning or some new way of using tech. So I kind of look for a bit of an overarching theme, I suppose. But I would say the thing that generally grabs my attention is a really nice backstory of how a toy came into being, whether it's the person who invented it, their own child, or um, something kind of more abstract. But then equally really open to new ideas, new uses of technology, or equally like really retro things, the idea of getting kids off screens and into something that's more imaginative. To stand out at Toy Fair, I think you need obviously a really well designed stall. That doesn't necessarily mean all the sort of bells and whistles and spinning things. It can simply just be about having the toys there ready for people to play with, um, because just because I'm a grown up does not mean I don't want to play with the toys. <laughs> So anyone who's exhibiting at Toy Fair can pitch me um, or ask for 10 minutes of my time any time from now. I'm really open to meeting anyone and seeing anything new. Next we have Helen Neal, a top parenting blogger on Kiddy Charts and Channel Mum. Helen talks us through what bloggers and content creators need from exhibitors at the show and how they differ from other press. She also reveals what makes an exhibitor stand out on the show floor. In terms of what I'm looking for on the floor at Toy Fair, um, I really want innovation, um, something that really grabs my attention. My readers, you know, they're all parents, they're all really, really interested in, in gameplay and in educational and learning type of toys. So I want something that sets that toy apart. Toy reviews are really key to the blog because you understand that we're also providing uh, free resources 
it really kind of makes sense to also talk about stuff that you know, might be able to bolster some of those resources. So if we do a learning resource that's for problem solving, why not have a toy review for something that's quite similar? It's really appealing to our readers to see how we can you know, get both on the blog. Supporting bloggers and content creators, there are two key things I think here. It's being open and being approachable. As a blogger, it can be really, really difficult because you're competing against some very, very big outlets. We might not have the audience, but we really do have the engagement. So I think being chatty, being open to what bloggers have got to say is really good. The other thing is being open to different ways in which bloggers work. Listen to what they have to say and you might actually find that it's a really, really, really good idea. We've got some great creative thoughts in the blogging industry. So listen to us and we can form fabulous partnerships. And finally, we spoke to Zoe Kleinman, a reporter and presenter for BBC News. She spoke to us about what makes a good radio and TV story at Toy Fair. It needs to sound good. I know it's a cliche, isn't it? But if you're listening to the radio and something makes a cool noise, then that's always going to just bring the piece to life. And the other thing that's really important for radio is your delivery. If I'm interviewing you about your toy, sound enthusiastic about it, use your voice. Um, you know, you may have talked about it a million times, you may be bored to tears by it, I get that. But our audience is hearing it for the first time and they want to hear your passion for where you're working. TV is all about the visuals. You've got to bear in mind, TV pieces tend to be quite short. So in the, in the final edit, you're going to be looking at maybe 90 seconds to two minutes. You're not going to get a very big opportunity to say very much, but what you have got is the gift of pictures. And of course, toys lend themselves to that. They tend to be colorful, they tend to be bright, they tend to move around. One thing I do sometimes find at Toy Fair is that we're not allowed to demo stuff. And you know, showing something in a box, it's okay, but it's much better if we can actually see it in action. And if you've got to the point when you're exhibiting it, you should really have enough confidence in it to let us have a go. Interviews are really important to our toy fair coverage. We like to speak to people who are knowledgeable, who can understand the product, who can tell us about it, and who can also give us context um, as to you know, how that fits within the wider toy industry. What are the rivals? What's the market value? We're not here to give you an advert for your toy. We're here to serve our audience. And the reason that they're interested has to be something a bit bigger than, look, here's a cool thing we found at the toy fair. Specifically, what I look from at Toy Fair is innovation. I look for tech. I look for something that is easy to understand, easy to explain, and something that has an interesting context to it. I think, you know, if you're a PR, it's probably better for us to talk to somebody who's actually been involved in the creation of the toy, if you're a developer or if you've personally come up with the concept, then you're going to be probably more passionate about it. That's it from our Awesome Media video. I hope you found it a helpful introduction into the wonderful world of Toys Fair PR. If you have any questions, then please don't hesitate to get in touch with the Bastion team. See you at Toy Fair!